Family Reunion Hour and I am excited to welcome all of you to this beautiful moment where we are going to be listening to our friends from the Family Reunion Voice of Prophecy singing out their lungs to the Lord and singing out their praises to the Lord in this beautiful concert called Hold On A Little Longer. And in the collection of songs that they are going to be singing, they just reflect the love of Christ and how He loves us so much and He bids us to just hold on a little longer and as the song says that hold on a little longer my child hold on a little longer and don't give in Jesus has promised his love to the end so hold on a little longer as we continue living in this world my arch for you today and my encouragement is Christ is soon coming back and all this that we are going through will come to an end and he will take us home so let us continue holding on for just a little longer because he who promised to come he will come and he will not tarry so join us today as we listen to this music let us sing out our hearts and lift our praises to the lord because he is faithful and he is just and just as he makes promises he also fulfills them and so let us hold on a little longer i am jen wena for advent broadcast network and i will be your host for today stay tuned to the end share the video leave your likes and let me know where you're watching from and how the Sabbath is going on. Recently, the Voice of Prophecy brought together a number of our musical friends for another family reunion taping. Over those three days, we sang together and ate together. We laughed together and even cried together. But most importantly, we celebrated God's love and encouraged each other to just hold on a little longer. Featuring The Heralds, Yolanda Innocent Palmer, Marvin Ponder and Herman and Sonny Hart, Steve Darmody, and Joe Meloshenko.
It's a dream come true. Thanks to the voice of prophecy, we are able to come and bond and support and uplift. And it, it's, it's a blessing to me, it really is. Send this son, I have good news to bring. And that is why I sing all my joys with you I'll share. Yes, I'm going to take a trip on the comes in, oh, I'll leave this world of sin and go sailing through the
The Heralds and the Voice of Prophecy have been synonymous for so many, many years. Guys, share something significant that's happened recently in your ministry. We just returned from Cuba. We uh, launched 200 evangelistic crusades across that island simultaneously. Amen. And uh, I know the first weekend over 6,000 new souls were baptized to Christ. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Steve, you're the new guy in the bunch. What's it like to sing with the Heralds? It's quite a privilege. I, I grew up listening to the quartet. In fact, I've told Jack many a time that when uh, Jack joined the quartet, I was nine months old, so I've heard him <laughs> forever. But uh, to be a part of a ministry that, that touches people's lives, not only in person, but by radio, by album, it's, it's quite an honor to serve the Lord in this capacity. The greatest thing is to serve God and worship Him through music. One of the songs you're going to sing is written by our own Chuck Fulmer. Let's sing a couple of songs about Him. I was once a sinner, but I came pardoned to receive from my Lord. This was freely given, and I found that He always kept His word. It's mine, and the white-robed angels sing the story. A sinner has come home, for there's a new name written down in glory. And it's mine, and it's mine. Oh, yes, it's mine. Yes, it's mine. With my sins forgiven. Now I am forgiven and I know by the blood I am made whole. There's a new name written down in glory and it's mine. And it's mine. Oh yes, it's mine. Yes, it's mine. And the white robed angels sing the story. A sinner has come home. There are several reasons why the quartet was important to the ministry of the Voice of Prophecy. First of all, the chief recognized that people would come to listen to the music rather than listen to a sermon, but then the sermon was there anyway, and the gospel was able to take seed, both through the music and through the spoken word in the chief's sermons. We've been able to go into hospitals, sing for the patients and the staff, and let them know how much the Lord loves them. That's been a real privilege. And to go into a prison, sing songs for those prisoners. And it's surprising how many of them give their lives to Jesus Christ while we're singing songs for them. Being in this quartet uh, the last 16 years, I think so many guys have always wanted to be in the quartet. And to see the tremendous opportunity to reach people for Jesus. And this quartet has given me that opportunity. Each one of the guys have been in the quartet for the last uh, 70 plus years, starting with Ray Turner and the Crane Brothers, they will say the same thing, that the ministry of the quartet will continue until our Lord comes very soon. Joshua the Joshua of Jericho, the Jericho, oh Jericho. Joshua the Joshua of Jericho, and the walls come tumbling down, tumbling down. Talk about your man of Gideon, and you may talk about your king of Saul, but there's none like good old Joshua. 
the Battle of Jericho. Joshua fought the Battle of Jericho. Jericho, Jericho. Joshua fought the Battle of Jericho, and the walls come tumbling down, tumbling down, ooh, tumbling down. Well, on up to the walls of Jericho, they marched with spear and tail. Go below them, ram horns. Joshua cried, and goes the battle is in my hand. Joshua fought the Joshua Jericho, 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 Joshua fought the Joshua Jericho, and the walls come tumbling down, tumbling down, how to all tumbling down. Now don't you stand on the wall when they shout, tumbling down. Now don't you stand there when the trumpet sound, for the judgment day. Is tumbling down, and the walls are tumbling down, tumbling down. Joshua fought the battle of Jericho, Jericho, Jericho. Joshua fought the battle of Jericho, and the walls come tumbling down. Joshua fought the battle of Jericho, Jericho, oh Jericho. Joshua fought the battle of Jericho, and the walls come. Touch 
Touching lives in earth's final hour, holding back the winds of strife in hope that one more will find life and come to know Christ. Hold on a little longer. has promised his love to the end. Hold on a little longer, my friend. To the end. Hold on a little longer, my friend. Just a Hold on a little longer, and don't you dare give in. God bless you guys for your ministry. Our own Chuck Fulmer wrote that beautiful song. Let's give a round of applause to Jesus using Chuck. Thank you. Having the opportunity to be a part of these uh, family reunions is very special to me because most of these individuals I had not met. So it was like a who's who on a musical mm -hmm. chart. Uh, former King's Heralds, uh, Del Delker, just, just an array of talent that's out there and, and new talent that's coming in too and I've really appreciated the opportunity to fellowship with these individuals and also to be exposed to the variety of music that's out there that can minister to the soul and I think we've all been blessed by the sharing of the music and also the testimonies that were there. Mm -hmm. Amen. I just wanted to express gratitude and, and thankfulness uh, for the giants that have come along our journey, like Ray and the Barron Brothers and the King's Heralds. I, I'm so thankful for friends. I, I, I especially think of Marvin. Um, he came to Keene in 1961, the skinniest kid I'd ever seen in my life. <laughs> You couldn't let him stand behind a microphone because it looked like a trio in our quartet. <laughs> I think 100 pounds maybe, fully dressed, I don't remember, but what a, what a great talent he was. And I remember, Ray, I wanted to share with, with you and the group what happened to us when we were kids at Keene. Marvin and I loved the Barron Brothers and would sing some of their songs. And I, we got where we could imitate the sound. Marvin could imitate Dick Barron, and I could do Ray Turner. <laughs> and we're in the church one day rehearsing, not realizing that Ray and Dick are in the building. <laughs> and we start cranking out one of their songs, just like they did it, you know. And the same sound and the, the inflection and the, the rhythm in which they, they, they delivered the, uh, the song. And all of a sudden, we looked down, and here was Ray and Dick standing in front of us. <laughs> We stopped immediately. We were so embarrassed. They had been outside. They thought maybe one of their songs had been playing. <laughs> had come in to see what was going on, and we were too embarrassed to tell them that we were imitating them. <laughs> I just didn't want to leave today without expressing my gratitude for the opportunity to be a musician for the Lord. stillness of the midnight where 
This heat was like Judgment Day. We always enjoyed each other. We went to the river and some were baptized, clapped our hands and testified. And we ate watermelon and buttermilk pie, and nothing ever tasted better. Then the kids played ball and the babies just played, while the old men napped out under the shade. And the women picked flowers and sipped lemonade, and sat around talking together. Dance and the lemonade float And we prayed and we sang till the sun sank low Laughing with our sisters and brothers Down by the tabernacle, hey Where you knew you were loved and you wanted to stay Though the Texas heat was like judgment day We always enjoyed each other Back to the time when life was good When everybody lived the way that they should At least that's the way I recall When black was black and white was white And everybody knew the wrong from the right We worked all day, we slept all night We were proud and stood tall Down by the tabernacle Where the June bugs danced and the lemonade float and we prayed and we sang till the sun sank low Laughing with our sisters and brothers Down by the tabernacle, hey Where you knew you were loved and you wanted to stay Though the Texas heat was like judgment day We always enjoyed each other Down by the tabernacle, oh Where the June bugs danced and the lemonade flowed And we prayed and we sang till the sun sank low Laughing with our sisters and brothers Down by the tabernacle, hey Where you knew you were loved and you wanted to stay Though the Texas heat was like judgment day We always enjoyed each other Down by the tabernacle Well, I would like to say how much this has touched my heart being here these last few days. And I noticed that with nearly everyone. You know, we, we've had our tears all mixed up for the last three days. Mm -hmm. It's been a wonderful experience, and I just know that it's brought each one of us closer to Jesus Christ. I know it has in my life, and I just know it has in the others, too. It's been a real privilege to be a part of it. I think we have some kids around here. Come on, kids. Aren't they a good-looking bunch of kids? Wow. I want to see if you can do a special trick I can do. <laughs> you almost got it. <laughs> okay, kids, let's sing this song. How many of you like wiggly things, crawly things? I do. So do I. Well, let's sing about it on this song. Oh, oh. 
hear the crickets?
was first involved in secular music uh, back in my hometown of Detroit, Michigan, and I got involved in music actually because my grandfather was a minister and we all would sing in church. And after singing in church, my grandmother was a vocal coach and we were all involved in music and loved music so much that I wanted to become a professional singer. So. A door was open, I grabbed at the opportunity, I started singing for different groups there in Michigan for some of the Motown groups, and then moved off to New York, continued singing, got involved in jingles, and then after becoming a Christian, praise God, I have no greater joy, there's no greater joy now for me singing Christian music as opposed to secular music, so I'm really happy that I'm a Christian.
that carried me home. No foe can harm me or alarm me. Ever again will I roam. Through the years, Steve Darmody's ministry has touched so many, many people. The church throughout North America and literally all around the world has a real heart for missions, and he comes to the aid of those who are in destitute poverty as well and does so much good for so many people. The first time I heard Steve sing, I listened to this wonderful resonance, you guys. You know, that's a wonderful gift from God. And Steve's been a great steward of that gift. But it's not just the singing and the resonance. It's the presence and power of the Spirit of Jesus that flows through Steve. God bless you, Steve. I will follow thee, my Savior, wheresoever my lot may be. Yes, my Lord, I'll follow Thee. I will follow Thee, my Savior. Thou didst shed Thy blood for me. And though all men should forsake Thee,
Though I meet with tribulations Sorely tempted though I be I remember that thou wast tempted And rejoice to follow thee And I will follow thee my Savior Thou didst shed thy Sometimes we get a chance to listen to a song that would trigger a memory. We were singing the song this morning, Hold My Hand All the Way, Every Hour, Every Day, From Here to the Great Unknown. And while singing that chorus, I held Holly's hand to the right and Larry's hand to my left. And for some reason, that song took me back to 1968, uh, to a darkened kitchen in the basement floor of our house in Brooklyn, New York, when that's the place that the lady who raised me and her husband, who were not my parents, it was just one year after I found out that they were not my parents, that I began to wonder why I was alone. That's why that song, Where No One Stands Alone, meant so much and brought tears to my eyes today. Every Sunday evening they had a, a regiment in our family. We'd gather in the kitchen to listen to the voice of prophecy. And there I was at 10 years old remembering that song and that song triggered that remembrance. I got so used to listening to that after I discovered that I wasn't their children. In that home it seemed to be my spiritual link to looking outside of the home for answers. And when we sang that song and I said to some of the singers afterwards, you know, there were many times today when I didn't get a chance to sing because I couldn't sing. But what I treasured more than anything else is that God set this appointment for me to let me know that one day I'm going to get to the place where we'll all stand together and no one will stand alone. Once I stood in the night with my head bowed low in the darkness as black as could I cried, oh Lord, don't hide your face from me. Hold my hand all the way, every hour, every day, from here to the grave, Yeah. 
And music has always been one of the identifying trademark characteristics of the Voice of Prophecy. And from way back, it's in its uh, inception 70 years ago. King's Heralds, Del Delker, Brad and Olive Braley, and then the musicians on down through the years. And we just wanted to bring that feeling back together as a, as a family. It's always been a, a musical family with the Voice of Prophecy, and we just wanted to bring that feeling back for the people. I think it's a wonderful thing that we can actually reach out to all the different age spectrums sitting on our platform in this musical family reunion and see that everybody's involved and everybody appreciates it and everybody uh, wipes the tears away too for some of the song touches their heart.
We are so grateful that in the sovereignty of God, he brought Joe Malashenko all the way from Ukraine, <laughs> united him with a precious, precious Russian lady. They planted crops, grew crops, and grew a great crop of children. <laughs> they found their way throughout North America, now here into these United States of America. Joe, it's a joy to know you. It's a joy to be blessed by your ministry. Sing to us. Bless us. After school hours, I'd work around the farm with Dad, up there in cold Saskatchewan, where full-grown steers might weigh a ton. My closest friend was were my long john. <laughs> I'd get so cold and worn out when even time would come, and I'd get all anxious, like about the journey home. Well, Dad, he always led the way. Once in a while, he'd turn around and say, so cheering like and tender, <laughs> Come, come, my son. We're almost home. You know, it always used to help me some, as I followed Father home. Well, I'm older and grayer and feebler now, and even a little trembling at knee, as all of you can see. Yet life seems much the same as then. At least it seems to me. For I feel kind of worn out. As even tide has come. And I'm getting anxious. I'm on the journey home. Ah, oh, still my father leads the way. And now and then I hear him say, as Dad said then, Come, come, my son, we're almost home. And same as then, it helps me, son, as I follow Father home. Lead me gently home, Father. Lead me gently home, Father, lest I fall upon the wayside. Lead me gently
made mistakes I often slip Just common flesh and bone But someday I'll prove Just why I say I'm of a special That's what helps us hold on a little longer, friends. Our belief in Christ's sacrifice on the cross will see us through any of life's problems. 
And ultimately, our faith will be the victory when we spend eternity with Him in our heavenly home. Encamped along the hills of light, ye Christian soldiers rise, and press the battle ere the night shall veil the glowing skies. Against the foe in veils below, let all our strength be heard. Faith is the victory. I just want to take a minute to say thank you for sharing this family reunion moment with your Voice of Prophecy family. I want to encourage each of you to complete your collection of family reunion music by calling 1-877-HOSANNA right now. That's 1-877-467-2662. Call them and ask for information about what other products are available in this family reunion series. I know you'll enjoy all of them. encouraged today and just as they have been singing about the love of Christ I believe that my Savior loves me so much that he will keep his promise of coming back to take me home as long as I stay faithful to him and just as the last song is saying faith is the victory that overcomes the world let us keep our faith burning let us keep 
uh, believing in Christ and knowing that this Christ who died on the cross for our sins, who saved us without asking for anything in return, will come back and take us back home where we will dwell with him. And so hold on a little longer. Thank you so much for tuning in to Family Reunion Hour this week. We are looking forward to having you again next week, same time, same place, just to lift our voices to the Lord and praise Him. But before we go, let us bow down for a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, as we enter into the holy hours of rest, welcome us for a fellowship with you and give us a beautiful Sabbath. Uh, speak to us through nature, through songs, through the sermons you listen to and through everything that we will encounter. And may our testimony today be of influence to someone around us so that it may draw them closer to you. Guide and protect us now and forevermore, for it is in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Before the angels he shall know his name confessed in heaven. Then onward from the hills of light, our heart with love aflame will vanquish all.